yurts were donated by seven different uh, unions, um, and they kind of want to remain, you know, they do not really want to take credit for them, they just wanted to make sure that we're safe for the winter. Um, we have the big one over there, um, which is, we're still debating what we're going to use it for. Um, it's locked up, so we're going there. Um, but it'll probably be like kitchen or communal meeting. The medium-sized yurt is over at Medical. And uh, it's for warming people up and stuff like that. And then this is the smallest here, and it's going to be for the library and preschool and post office. But they're actually from Mongolia. Um, all the wood is, um, it's horsehair rope, and uh, everything is hung together. The lattices by uh, camel rawhide, so it's all natural. Um, and you know, Mongolians have been living in yurts for thousands of years. We wrap it in uh, a couple of layers of canvas, and then it's uh, four layers, probably about an inch and a half thick of sheep's wool, pressed down into a felt. Um, they're, they're really, really warm. They're easy to maintain. I mean, because it's all natural materials, like if it gets wet, it doesn't swell or anything like that. Like it's, you know, thousands of years of perfecting these yurts.